What's in our foods? You hear some pretty scary things out there, like do GMOs cause gluten allergies? What about hormones? Are they making our children develop sooner? How about the antibiotics that our poultry farmers use? Does that cause resistance to our antibiotics? And GMOs and organic? How can I tell the difference in the produce of? Well, let's take a look and see what some people say about conventional agriculture. I don't know. I've heard studies both ways. We really don't know. And like more like little girls when they would eat chicken nuggets and stuff, the more they would hit puberty early and early and there'd be like seven and eight year olds like going through puberty in elementary school. So yeah, I think it I think it does because I watched a documentary on it, but puberty at an earlier age. No, it's the milk. It's the milk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I would probably not many, but I would say there are. I would assume that there's some, you know, there's, you know, I, I know that Obama just put in a bunch of legislation to protect honeybees, and I know that, you know, there's a lot of other stuff going on at the time. So, you know, it's a big issue, so I would assume there's some things being done right now. So, do you have questions? Well, the Alabama Cooperative Extension System will be hosting a meeting on February 23rd at 6 p.m. at the Moulton Church of Christ. We will have staff and specialists from Alabama A&M and Auburn University to help explain the science behind your food. We hope to see you there.